I do not regret coming to this place one bit. This is exactly what I was after. <laughs> Just one nice spot where there's no other tourists and I found it. What is up everyone? So right now I am in Tagalalang Rice Terrence. So this is a very well known popular tourist spot. Um, it's only like a 20 minute ride from central Ubud. But because it is not peak season, I think there won't be that many tourists. Um, and then after here, I'm gonna check out some more waterfalls. Uh, but yeah, that is my adventure today. So let's do it. saw before they have those everywhere throughout this rice terrace so that's pretty much just another way to reel the tourist in and um, pay for an activity but they charge one guy was saying they charge a hundred thousand uh, which is like 10 Australian but that's morning price guys morning price <laughs> usually if if you go anywhere in the morning it's always a morning price so it's just a bit cheaper you ever heard of poop coffee before? May sound weird, but that is a thing. And they actually have it right here in Bali. So I saw one then, it was a luwak. So they kind of look cross between, say a possum and a cat, but their poop is actually turned into coffee. I don't know why, but yeah, apparently it tastes delicious. I actually don't like coffee myself, but I think it is pretty expensive, that coffee too, because it's like one of the best coffees you can get, a poop coffee. Um, yeah, very interesting though. several spots like walking around this Trice Terrence there's the locals they make you pay like a donation it's not much well, like five thousand or ten thousand but I had to pay it twice while I was here <laughs> and then um, I saw some other people and they said that it's the third time they had to pay a donation just walking around everywhere in the Rice Terrence like sometimes I wonder if that's legit or if they're just trying to get some extra cash. All right, so the other day, my scooter ended up dying. I had to <laughs> replace it, because everywhere I was driving, it would just get going boom, 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 boom. Like, it just kept shutting off. So I exchanged it with another one, and this one is a red rocket. <laughs> this is it here. So I don't mind this one, though. It stands out, and it's even got a name. So this is Scoopy, but it's a pretty cool looking scooter, I reckon. It's got like that retro look. Now it is getting extremely warm. I am looking forward to a swim, so let's head off to some waterfall, guys. Yeah, 
So this spot was a little bit of a mission to get here. It was like an hour drive from the Rice Terrence, but it was just driving through all the mountains and that. This is called Tupac Subung. Tupac, yeah, <laughs> I'll put the name here. Waterfall. Um, so I have a feeling I'm gonna have to pay too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay. Uh, I wait to find a nice area where I actually don't have to pay to get in. <laughs> so that was 15,000 to come in, but I'm walking right down to the waterfall now. Wow, this place is very unique. I wasn't expecting this. So it's all sort of just in a big gully. Um, and you got like a real hazy look. But I think the waterfall is just down here and there is a lot of forest. <laughs> so there it is. What a cool spot for a waterfall. How awesome is this? of this spot is that big famous waterfall and then you can sort of walk the other way and find another little waterfall but after that it just keeps going I don't know where it goes oh look at this look at all the rubbish here how ridiculous is that all the bottles all just flow down to the end here um, but yeah I feel like that's a dead end I'll have a look anyways but there's no tourists here and if there's a nice spot at the end of this, that would be great. Because I like finding spots where there's no tourists. But this looks like nothing. Yeah, so that definitely was a dead end. <laughs> um, but I got what I wanted. I got a nice swim. And not too far from this waterfall as well, there is another one. So I'm going to head off to that one soon. See you there. All right. So this next waterfall is called Tankub Waterfall. And it was only like a five minute ride from the previous one I was at. But I think this one is fairly similar. The only difference is you have to actually park up near the road and walk like 20 minutes to get there. Meaning there will be not as much tourists at, compared to the other one. And hopefully I won't have to pay either. We'll see. But yeah, it's a really nice walk to get there. Alright, not too sure what this guy's doing, but I think he's offering to give me a coconut. <laughs> he's literally climbing up the street to go get me one. Cheers, man. Look at him go. What a legend. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Alright, so he ran to get his machete, and now he's going to cut it up for me, I think. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Kind man. All right, so he made me pay, but that was expected. <laughs> of course, everywhere I go, I have to pay for something. But I didn't mind paying him because he did a solid job climbing up that tree and getting this coconut. Mm. Then I was craving a coconut, actually. Nice. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I'm literally the only tourist here. No one else is here. I had this all to myself. And it was actually really easy to get to. It was not even a 20 minute walk. And I got a coconut along the way. So this spot is a lot like the other one, as I said before. Um, you're just in a big gully. But there even is a waterfall up here. But the best thing is you can have it all to yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the waterfall. <laughs> nah, that's not it. I think it's up here more. Wow, 
there she is guys what an impressive waterfall that's even better than the last one i was at it goes to show if you actually go the off beaten track where no other tourists go then you'll find amazing places like this and get it all to yourself oh boy <laughs> this just gets better and better how cool is this Whoa! I love spots like this. I'm just hoping it's not going to completely drop off though because I've got all my camera gear on me. Oh my god, there's actually bats in here too! <laughs> there's little bats in here! Man, I love moments like this. Right, hey, I reckon it is time for a waterfall shower! Oh my god, this is huge! Oh, it's going to be <laughs> I do not regret coming to this place one bit. This is exactly what I was after. <laughs> Just one nice spot where there's no other tourists and I found it. I found it. And I have it all to myself. Oh, what a magnificent waterfall. Like I wouldn't even bother going to that other waterfall when this one is right here, five minutes up the road with no other people. Phew, I feel absolutely great. There's no better way to freshen off than like a nice waterfall shower. So there's one more waterfall I want to check out today. It's a fair ride from where I am right now. But I feel like it's gonna be hard to beat the waterfall I was just at. But let's go check it out. Oh yeah, this spot is definitely gonna be very busy. <laughs> check out all the scooters that are around here. And all these cars, they're all like the tour cars. So this is a very, very touristy spot. Hey. Thank you. And for the most expensive waterfall today, it's a gun and gun waterfall. <laughs> so this place is gonna be super super busy, but I thought I better check it out anyways. This place is busy. <laughs> this is like a freaking party waterfall. They've got all the clubs and stuff up there and the music is just cranking. But, oh my God, there is a lot, a lot of tourists here. And that waterfall is flowing fast. You wouldn't want to go straight under that, I think. Jesus, these tourist spots are just stealing my money. So first off, I'd pay 20,000 to see the waterfall. But if I wanted to get further and go out and see all the clubs and stuff, I have to pay another 15,000. Oh, they just try to scrape every last bit of you. Danger, don't jump. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, self-explanatory. Don't know if I want to be jumping off there.
Yeah, this is where it's happening. Club waterfall is going off. Jesus Christ. This is the tourist haven. They've even got pools up here. How crazy is that? Wait, doesn't end there. <laughs> Just keeps going up more and more. <laughs> I love these beats. This place is huge. Jesus. Oh my god, that was a scary moment. For some reason, throughout all of Bali, I just have horrible drone connection. Fly on my drone then, it kept trying to fly down by itself. So it literally almost just flew straight into the waterfall. Oh, so I had to stop. <laughs> That's alright, I'll still have it guys, I'll still have it. But that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This waterfall was pretty impressive, but as you can see way way too touristy but it's really cool to see all the um all the clubs and stuff up top they have but my preference i would rather the other waterfall because that one is out of the way a little bit but you get no tourists and i really enjoyed that one um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways if you did give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I better get back before it gets dark. <laughs> Bye!